What's up all you don't call them Clintar, call them symbiotes, dudes and dudettes, Toysha's here and today I got a really quick video we're gonna do who in the holy heck is Marvel Legends Scream. Now this character is it's a symbiote and I mean uh, and now they're kind of calling them Clintars but I, I just can't get behind that they've always been symbiotes to me it just uh that's that's kind of what I have to call them but really quick before I get into that um special shout out to MCU Collector 24 on Instagram um he was cool enough he posted the that he received the new uh, Marvel Legends Venom build a figure wave that has scream and you know all the uh subsequent characters now i did a who in the holy heck the other day about poison and as i kind of called it this was kind of a weird bio also a weird history of a character to kind of put into a bio without a whole lot of basis uh with knowing the actual storyline that came from veniverse and such and unfortunately yeah they definitely they goofed the bio which uh as you can see right here so hasbro I'm just saying, it means a lot to me to have a bio on the back of a box. It's meant to me, you know, it meant a lot to me over the years, especially as a kid. We didn't have the internet back then. We only had comics. You guys always, you know, uh, made, especially Toy Biz and, and everything else, they made these characters. A lot of them I had no idea about unless you read the comics. So the bios always helped. You have to pay attention to this kind of stuff because you have the complete wrong bio of the wrong poison so i'm just saying mistakes happen however i'm gonna throw my hat into the ring if you are interested in a person to write the bios for the packages hey i'm available so definitely hit me up we can call it who in the holy heck right on the back of the box if you want no yeah like that'll happen any days anyways okay enough of the rant let's talk about who in the holy heck is the symbiote scream so like a lot of these characters that are coming out, they're very obscure, they're very, you know, one note, a couple issues here and there, fan favorites if you will, and Scream is really no different. Scream's real name is a woman by the name of Donna Diego, and she got involved, of course, with the Life Foundation. She is a symbiote, she first appeared in Venom Lethal Protector number four way back in 1993, so that's really cool. and. This was actually my first uh, kind of look. I remember these comics coming out. I used to get them. I had all the Lethal Protector. As a kid, you love Venom. Venom was so, you know, fascinating and everything. So to have a little bit, you know, more symbiotes and everything going around, that was awesome as well. So basically what happens is Venom gets charged into going to San Francisco. He gets captured by this malicious group called the Life Foundation. They tear the symbiote off of him. They end up and re like kind of like Jurassic Parking him a little bit by re-engineering the suit. So these aren't really authentic symbiotes in a way. They're kind of man-made laboratory creations. So of course you had Venom. Spider-Man was you know in the in the storyline of Lethal Protector. He went to go help Eddie Brock and got caught up in the mess. So unofficially, the five symbiotes uh, as a team name that uh, consisted of Scream. Phage, Riot, Lasher, and Agony. And I remember as a kid, they had uh, Toy Biz created this Planet of the Symbiotes toy line that coincided with the 90s Spider Man and the X Men Spider Man and everything that they were coming out at the time. And they had figures for every single one, and it was amazing. They also had She Venom. And they had this giant monster venom, which was incredible. So and 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 phage, man, like ah, oh, they were they were so cool. I still have them all. They were fantastic figures. If you can grab them, definitely, definitely pick them up. So basically, what happens is Scream gets involved, uh, tries to take out Venom. Life Foundation blows up as an effect of Venom and Spider-Man kind of tangling and taking them down. A couple more appearances here and there, fight, fight, fight. Uh, the whole five symbiote team, inadvertently, she ends up killing all the hosts for all the other symbiotes, minus herself, and runs off, right? So all these four remaining symbiotes don't have a host they end up combining now because they're kind you know they're these they're man-made creations they're kind of clones in a way and all five symbiotes uh kind of meld and form together to create this beastie symbiote and it's they call it hybrid they made a figure of him as well he's kind of like this moth spider creature looking thing all kinds of goo and yeah it's an, it's a great design a great action figure and again i highly recommend picking up any or all of the planet of the symbiote toy biz line it's fantastic as 
far as more of the history of the character, she pops up here and there. She's still going. One of my favorite appearances of Scream was as a result of Lethal Protector, kind of made these games back in the day. They are just a beat em up kind of carbon copy of one another, but they were a blast. They had Maximum Carnage, and then they did one based on the actual Lethal Protector comic, and they called it Separation Anxiety, and it's Spider-Man, Venom. You can actually play as Spider-Man or Venom, which was very exciting, and you go up against the Life Foundation, and it kind of recreates the storyline, and it was a blast. It's kind of like Streets of Rage and, and all those great mash-em-ups, you know, Turtles in Time. So another great thing to check out if you haven't already, but you're going to have to get yourself a Super Nintendo. And if you don't already have them, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Anyways, very excited to finally pick up this upcoming Marvel Legends figure. I think she looks fantastic. I've always liked the colors of Scream. I think that she's the one that kind of stands out amongst all the other, you know, the five symbiotes at least from the Life Foundation group. Uh, they were all, the other ones were kind of muddled. One was green, brown, orange, you know, things like that. But this one, yellow and red, really pops. She's got the wild tendril hair. Her powers and ability, strength, durability, stamina, wall crawling, immunity to Spider-Man sense as well. She can create webs. I, I don't really remember that in the comics, but I remember her just using her hair a lot to kind of like hair flip, hair whip, hair kick, all the, you know, dudes and kind of do all that kind of stuff which actually is pretty cool. So I have to say, let me know. Are you guys excited about Scream? Have you already picked her up? Are you looking forward to grabbing her and putting her on your details? Let me know. Let me know also if you, uh, if you have any other characters that you'd like to see coming up from Marvel Legends. That way it can help you, you know, just do you one better, especially after the bios that we've been getting from Hasbro. Come on, Hasbro, pick it up a little bit. Anyways, I'll leave you guys to it. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to. And always remember, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at Toyshiz. And also be sure to email me anytime, toyshiz at gmail.com. I'll let you guys go. Have a fantastic weekend if I don't talk to you. Drink some good coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find some fantastic action figures. And when you do, let me know what you find. I'll talk to you soon. Adios.